नमस्कार एक्सेसिव म्यूकस इन योर सिस्टम कैन रियली बी वेरी स्ट्रेसफुल एंड वेरी अनकंफर्टेबल द हॉलो रीजन बिटवीन योर आईज बिहाइंड योर चिक बोन एंड ऑन योर फोर हेड आर नोन एज साइनसिस म्यूकस इज प्रोड्यूस बाय दैम विच कीप्स द इन साइड ऑफ योर नोज मॉइस्ट एंड ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम डस्ट एलर्जन एंड पोल्यूटन but excessive mucus accumulation leads to swelling or inflammation of the tissue that lines the sinuses this condition is known as sinusitis yoga has laid down a very simple and practical way to take care of your body today i am going to share with you three kriyas or cleansing technique hygienic techniques which would help to clear the nasal passage efficiently and naturally to get rid of excessive mucus and phlegm remember these kriyas have to be done in one set and in the same order as i am about to share to gain the maximum benefit first jalaneti jalaneti has to clean the nasal passage and drain the sinus cavities allowing air to flow easily it removes all the dirt and bacteria filled mucus from your nostrils which helps reduce allergies or rhinitis jalaneti helps to prevent tinnitus and middle ear infection not just that it also cleanses the eye ducts and improves vision it reduces the frequency of sinusitis and migraine attack yes this one simple kriya generates many benefits so let's learn how to perform it take a cup of water preferably boiled and cooled to the required temperature water's temperature should be little warmer than your body temperature add a pinch of salt to the water to taste like tears wash your hands stand comfortably cup the right palm and pour the water into your palm holding your palm near your face close the left nostril with the left index finger and bend forward to dip your right nostril into cup palm now here inhale deeply so the water is sniffed into your nostril after the water is sucked up into the nostril immediately bend the head forward and the water will flow out naturally from your mouth and from your nose repeat the same with the other side next is kapal bhati this breathing exercise is mainly to clear the frontal sinuses sinuses on the face it removes excess phlegm and excess mucus from the sinuses and the nasal passage too it removes all the toxins from the respiratory passage our lymphatic system and thyroid function are benefited when you practice kapal bhati blood circulation and oxygenation of the entire face improves which in turn improves texture and glowing skin Moreover it improves blood circulation and even heart rate it serves as a therapeutic tool to relieve even anemia so you understand why kapal bhati is such a wonderful kriya since it gives you tremendous benefit not just on the physical level but also benefits the mind this kriya improves concentration and helps to reduce built up stress so let's learn the steps stand or sit in any meditative posture sit preferably in sukhasan inhale and exhale sharply forcefully and quickly without contorting the facial muscles the muscles of the throat will automatically be used avoid flaring the nostril and ensure that there is minimal movement of the body the friction created by the sharp breath will create moderate sound remember they are short sharp and forceful breath equal in inhalation as well as in exhalation practice 10 such breaths making it one round you can practice 3 to 5 rounds and the last kriya is kapal randra dhoti kapal means the facial region randra means shining gharshan rubbing and dhoti means cleansing through this kriya the face or head region is internally cleaned through an external practice This kriya stimulates the facial nerves and the blood circulation to the face improves. It cleanses the sinuses. It relieves mild headache and reduces migraine. It aids in the prevention of dizziness. Furthermore, speaking on the psychological benefits, this kriya calms the mind 
and promotes clarity of thoughts. It calms nervous system and reduces depression. The steps are stand or sit erect but comfortably using one hand or both hands. Follow these movements as shown. Make sure you do this with your fingertips and keep a deep or moderate pressure throughout the movement. Begin by keeping your thumb above the end of the eyebrow. Using all your finger, rub your forehead horizontally from one side to other. Now place your index or middle finger and place it at the bridge of your nose near the inner eye as a starting point and move them down under the eye outwards towards temple. Rub your index finger from front of the ear to the back of the ear a couple of times. This practice can be done twice. In case of acne, pimple, dry skin or any other such problem, avoid rubbing the skin but simply go over the said facial area through a pressure and release the pressure. In case of very dry skin, you can apply a little cream or moisturizer or any facial oil and do the practice. So these are the best three kriyas to be done on a daily basis. In the same order, to get rid of all mucus and phlegm, it cleanses the nasal passage and a person breathes freely. Remember to avoid such food which can cause mucus accumulation in the body, like cold drinks, ice creams and things coming out from refrigerator to be eaten immediately. Avoid them. Apply more warmth to the face with the hot water bag. If you are in too much discomfort. Inhale steam when needed and eat fresh warm food. These simple yet effective methods will aid the prevention of mucus collection and related disorders. Stay healthy, stay happy. Namaskar.